The WBA light heavyweight title eliminator fight between Dan Aziz and Joshua Boatsy has finally been made official. The pair will fight on October the 21st with the winner getting a guaranteed shot at Dimitri Bivol. Which is a little ironic because individually I do believe they've both been offered shots at Dimitri Bivol or at least one of them definitely has and there was talks to the other one but essentially they both opted to go a different direction. They're going to fight each other and then essentially one then will go for Dimitri Bivol, I'm guessing. I mean, even that's got a question mark around it because of the fact that it's probably going to go to purse bids and Matrim are probably going to win that purse bid and Boxer got a bit of a habit of like pulling out of purse bids or not following through with purse bids, if you know what I mean. So I don't know what's going to happen there. Let's not look too far ahead of ourselves. We've got a fight on our hands and it's an interesting fight because a few people have been saying online or on some shows that I've been watching or some commentary that essentially like six months ago, Dan Aziz would have been a nobody and Joshua Boatsy would have been a strong favourite and now things have changed. I don't know about six months ago, maybe 18 months ago, two years ago, whatever, it would have been a no contest. Like we would have been Joshua Boatsy all the way. But Dan Aziz has had a decent little run. He's picked up a few titles along the way. He's done it the tra traditional route, as they say. He's gone through the system like area, British, European, Commonwealth. I don't even know where else he's got, but he's probably got a couple more that he's, he's picked up, you know what I mean, along the way. And now he's looking to bash up his friend and London rival in Joshua Boatsy. I mean, a lot of people are saying it's a 50-50 fight. I'm not too sure how to see it, to be fair. I know we've seen a lot of Dan Aziz and what we've seen has been looking good, but we haven't seen enough of Joshua Boatsy, if you know what I mean. What we saw previously, he was all right. He was potentially on his way to world title you know, shots a couple of years ago, but it never really materialized. He had injuries. He doesn't really fight frequently enough. And let's be honest, last time he fought, it kind of stunk the place out. And so he's not coming into this fight like riding off a high wave, if you know what I mean. He's kind of at the bottom of that wave and he's getting like, Thing, water landing on his head and he's getting rolled over the place and getting smashed around it's not going too smooth for him on the other hand you've got Dan Aziz who's basically couldn't have had it smoother I know he's had some tough fights well I say tough fights not really but his style makes his fights look tougher than they probably are if I'm being honest with you but he's a bit of a brawler he's like solid all-round fighter and he just had like result after result after result so he's built his profile while Boatsy is kind of stagnated so he's they're pretty much on par in terms of where they are in their careers. A lot of people are saying that Boatsy's taking a step back because Dan Aziz has the British title. I mean, you put that British title to one side, they're not... I mean, they may be fighting for the British title. I don't know if that's going to be on the cards or not. But essentially, that's not the carrot. And you guys are going to say, well, they had a chance to fight Dimitri Bivo anyway, so it's not really a carrot. Well, it kind of is. And the reason why I say that is this Joshua Boatsy dan Aziz fight, right, is it's the final eliminator, but at the same time... It's a semi-decent, semi-big fight, so they're going to get paid very handsomely, I'd imagine. I know, like, Boxer have put it in the O2, and the O2 holds, like, 20,000 people. If they sell 20,000 tickets, they're probably looking at, like, I don't know, 1.5 million on the gate or whatever it works out to. Now, can they sell 20,000 tickets? Absolutely not, but can they do 10? Maybe. I mean, there's a chance that they're going to do decent numbers to an extent. It's not a mega fight, if you know what I mean, but they're going to take home record paydays, both of them. And why not take home a big payday before you cash out on an even bigger payday against Dimitri Bivol? I say cash out, that's not really the right term because they're young, they're going to carry on with their careers, but they're not going to beat a Dimitri Bivol, neither of them. Dimitri Bivol essentially could beat both of them on the same night. I don't even think I'm exaggerating. I think if one was at the start of the card and one was at the end of the card, Dimitri Bivol could probably beat both of them. But when it comes to levels, the level between them and Bivol is really, really big, like far, the gap is really big. But between themselves, it's kind of close in my opinion. I think you'd have to give Joshua Boatsy the edge purely because of the pedigree, like Olympic stuff. And he's been in with higher level of opposition, even though it hasn't really been that high. I do think he edges it in terms of opposition. And I'll tell you this, back in the day, I had a lot of time for Joshua Boatsy. Like when he first turned over and he was like, oh, I'm still going on my education because life goes on after boxing. And he was saying some good stuff, you know, things that made me think, right, this guy's head is screwed on. But then after like seven years of like, oh, him being all deep and things are coming and things happen for a reason and management this management that and and injuries and fights not happening i just got a bit bored of it so in terms of who i think is going to win i think boatsy is probably the favorite but who do i want to win i want dan aziz to win i want him to win in spectacular fashion i want him to maybe knock joshua boatsy out it may not happen but that's what i want and the reason why i want i mean i'm not going to go into like a big breakdown of why I want it to happen and this, that and the other and why I think, it's not a technical reason, put it that way, it's not a skill based reason. The reason why I want Joshua Boatsy to lose and Dan Aziz to win is what you see on screen right now. That's basically it. I, I've got to give him props for that man, I see that and I got a little hyped man and that, that for me is enough, it's a close enough fight, I don't have a horse in the race, that little thing there, that little gimmicky Hagler tribute slash 
copying what Hagler did kind of thing. I respect that, I rate that, and it did get me a little hyped, and that for me is enough reasons for me to want Joshua Boatsy to get knocked out in this fight. Obviously, you may not agree, you may have other reasons, but whatever, man, I liked it, and it works for me. That's all I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, but don't, I'll catch you on the next one. Love.